He took it out, man. That guy's whacking away. There's a lot of moving parts on this one. Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Bob. Welcome to the Messy Suitcase Travel Vlog. And today we're going to talk a little bit about our travels in Leon, where we just happened to stumble upon the last day of an ex of an exhibit of nativity scenes, or in Spanish, Exposición de Nacimiento. And uh, this, is, this was directly across from the, uh, the Templo Expiatorio, and uh, we just happened to see a sign, and it was the last, the very last day that it was uh, being held. They were going to close the doors, so in we went. We actually didn't know what Nacimiento was, but we knew Nací means I was born, so we thought, ah, maybe it's nativity. And, and it was. And this was this, this exhibit was just uh, fantastic. Um, well, there were uh, about a uh, hundred different nativity scenes from, from all over all the world. over the world. You know, they weren't just they weren't just Mexican, but uh, you know, there's some from Germany and Austria and Russia and, and Jerusalem and Israel and uh, yeah. No, the first one we walked in, South America. when we first walked in, the first one we saw was from Oberammergau, Germany, which is a place that we have visited that is renowned for its stone cutting. I mean, um, wood carving. Wood carving. Mm. Which is a place that we have visited, which is renowned for its wood carving. <laughs> see if Bob can edit that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> And uh, I mean, there, there were some that were just, just incredible in there. I mean, they went from ones that, uh, you know, you needed, you know, literally needed a, uh, you know, a microscope, you know, to, to see, you know, to, to ones that took up, uh, you know, a, a, a side of a wall of, uh, in there. And, uh, you know, they, they ranged from... Some of them had a room. Yeah, one it, of them had a whole room, this one European one. Yep. And, and it was massive, the, this massive... It was this massive display. It wasn't just the nativity that was in this one corner, but over here you had the three kings. And then down below you had all the visitors doing their things. And over here you had the, the sheep and the shepherds. And it was, I mean, it was easily 20 by 30 feet. Yeah, I mean, and, and eight feet tall. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, just incredible. And then there were, there were a couple outside too, you know, ranging from a nativity scene that was made out of plastic made out of plastic uh, water bottles. Oh yeah, that one was actually typical Mexico. <laughs> and I noticed with the plastic water bottle one, uh, that it was, it, it recycled, yes. Reuse, as it, as it, it was incredibly clever. They even had little mariachi guys. I yeah. noticed there was a black one and a red one and a white one with their very intricate mariachi suits on. Yeah. And uh, you know, there, there were some where the intricate little figures you know, were actually uh, mechanical, so they moved, you know, and they, they did you know, some hammering or, uh, you know, some typical things that, uh, yeah. you know, some, some workmanlike stuff. There, there was one that, uh, you know, that had the cycle of the day, it had the sunrise, it got light, you know. And, they, and as soon as it got light, you heard the, ah, 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 yeah. it had great sound effects to go with the whole cycle of the day. And then it got dark, and the moon came up, and the stars came out. You got to and see it, the sunrises and the sunsets. Everything got red during those periods of time. Just, just, just incredible. We spent about 90 minutes in there, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it was well worth it, particularly, particularly because it was free. <laughs> <laughs> the <And I'm>, best. <laughs> there were a couple others I thought were really interesting, like the Alpine one, yeah. where they had the nativity, but it was on a on a snowy mountaintop in, yep. in Europe. I thought that was cool. And then some of the Mexican ones I found fascinating. The Huichol one that was all of those... Um, the little beads. Yeah, the intricate yeah. beaded work was all over the people and their clothes and everything. That was pretty amazing, I thought. And, and several of them, several, not just one, but several had elephants. Yeah, there was a lot of elephant. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, what, I don't know what that symbolized. But I mean, you expect camels, elephants. and there were a lot of camels, but there were also elephants everywhere. I guess the men traveling from the east, the wise men, in addition to riding their camels, must have brought their elephants. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, but uh, it was, it was. If, if you're ever in Leon, you know, over the Christmas, over Christmas time, you know, definitely take the opportunity to go there and and see that ex ex exhibit. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, may your suitcase always be messy. And like our, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more of our videos, our travels, world world travels, particularly in Mexico. Hasta luego.